What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. I am back with a brand new video. And for today's video, as you read by the title, I'm going to be showing you how I make my perfect breakfast burritos. So for a while, I've been posting this picture on my Instagram stories with this breakfast burrito that I've been having. And literally so many of you guys have been telling me to drop the recipe, so the day has finally came where I'm going to show you how to make these bomb AF breakfast burritos. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you how good these burritos are. Like, I could literally have these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As a matter of fact, right now it's about to be two. Oh, mood you can't see it it's about to be two and i am barely gonna have one of these so before i get started like always if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe so you guys do not miss out on any videos that i upload and then make sure to go ahead and follow me on all my other social medias that i will be posting down below so without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's go ahead and get started with this cooking all right you guys so we are here once again in the cocina and i actually have a helper helping me film this video today just so you guys can get the best close-ups of what I'm making, which is this masterpiece. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the things that you guys are gonna be needing for this breakfast burrito. The first thing is, you're gonna be needing um, the flour tortillas. Make sure that when you guys get these, you guys get the ones that say burrito, so you guys can have a nice, perfectly shaped burrito and it's not falling apart or cracking open. You're gonna be needing some Mexican four cheese, some Mexican style four cheese blend, yeah. And then you're gonna be needing some bacon. I'm gonna be using turkey bacon just because I don't eat meat, but if you guys wanna go ahead and use the pork bacon, you guys can go ahead and do so. And you're gonna be needing some eggs. I am gonna be using four eggs today, two eggs per burrito, because I'm gonna be making two burritos, one for myself and one for my cameraman that's behind the cameras. You're gonna be needing some avocados. I'm probably only gonna use one avocado, half of, auto, half of avocado per burrito. You get me? You're gonna be needing some butter, some pepper, some garlic salt, and Cholula. So I went ahead and added a little bit of butter to my cazuela just so it can get nice and heated. I'm going to be using four strips of bacon, so it's going to be two strips per burrito. That's usually what I use, but if you guys want to go ahead and use more, then by all means, go ahead. Oh, every time I open bacon or like jamón me da asco, I'm like... I probably should have done this before I put the bacon in the cazuela, but I recommend cutting the strips in half. Um, just so it's easier when you guys put your burrito together. So then while that's cooking, we can go ahead and get started with the eggs. So same thing, I'm going to be adding some butter to the cazuela. I personally like cooking with butter instead of oil. I don't know, I just, I feel like it gives like the food like a creaminess. So I'm just going to go ahead and crack the eggs in the cazuela. The chefs are probably going to be coming for me because I'm not like whisking them in a separate bowl. But same thing, you still get that same outcome. Fun fact, I actually like barely learned how to make like the perfect scrambled eggs. I feel like siempre se me quemaban or they were like, they didn't look like scrambled eggs, they just look like a messy omelet. So the trick to the best scrambled eggs as I've heard, um, is you always want to cook them on low heat and just constantly keep on like mixing them. Oh mood, watch them come out all shitty. So on YouTube when I was looking up how to make scrambled eggs, they said that when they're like a little bit gooey like this, turn off the heat, so like that. Because then like they're still gonna be cooking and that's how you're gonna get like the creamy, like nice, soft, scrambled eggs. I'm not a chef or anything, but it looks pretty good, so that's what I'm following. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat on the bacon because I think it's ready. It actually came out a little crisp, but not mad about it. Okay, so you see what I mean with the eggs? They're like, they look perfect. Or oh, wait, do they look raw still? <laughs> Hold on. Let me turn it on again. Hold on. Cut that out. Okay, now that our eggs are fully cooked, you're gonna add your cheese on there. So you can honestly go in with the cheese. I'm gonna go in because cheesy eggs are the best. I don't know about you. And you see how like the cheese is just automatically just melting into the eggs and they're like stringy. Oh yes, that's what you want. That's what you want. Okay, so then now that your eggs are fully done, you're gonna add some pepper. I like a lot of pepper on the eggs, so I'm going in. And then the key ingredient, just a little sprinkle of garlic salt, like that. And then once again, just mix it in. So once your eggs and bacon are done, you're pretty much ready to like put your burrito together. I'm telling you guys, this recipe is literally so simple. Like you guys are gonna be making this every day. Trust. You're gonna start off by adding your eggs and you're just gonna kind of like spread it on there like that. And then you're gonna add four pieces of bacon. Two, three, four. And then you're gonna go in with your avocado, moment of truth. Beautiful, beautiful, that's what we want. I'm gonna do half an avocado for one burrito. 
I think that's the perfect amount. And then once you have your eggs, bacon, and avocado, you're gonna drizzle some Cholula sauce all over it. So that's pretty much your burrito assembled. And then to put it together, you're gonna fold in, fold in like that, and then fold in like that. Once your burrito is put together, you're gonna grab your comal, and you're gonna just toast her up a little bit. I'm gonna grab it and place it on there like so. All right, so now that both of the burritos are assembled and toasted up, um, I think they should be, ooh, yes. That's the color you want. So then, I think that side's already good. I usually grab them and I like toast the sides because you want them toasted from all angles. Ay, wait, ta caliente. Hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with these because I just burned myself. So as I was saying, I usually grab them and put them to the side too so they could toast from all angles. Damn, hold on. Ay, a ver si se, si se. Muy neat. The tío de carne asada with the sombrero and the cerveza. All right, you guys, so now that your burrito is all toasted up and ready to go, you're gonna go ahead and cut her open. And to be honest, I think the secret to this all that makes it look very appetizing and very like kind of bougie in a way. I think it's a diagonal cut. So that's what I do. Cuts the plate. Mood, hello? Okay, there we go. Eat in. Check in no mas. Wow. Layers. Flavor. Chef. All right, you guys, and now the final step, the taste test. So let's go ahead and go in on her. It gets me every time. All right, you guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of me making the perfect breakfast burrito. If you guys do decide to make this at home, make sure you guys go ahead and tag me on Instagram so I can check them out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You guys know the drill. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.